We're at 148.5 miles leaving the house. Let's see what kind of mileage we get. Well, we did our little eight mile test drive to the gas station. Now we're cruising 45.50 and gonna make about a probably 45, 50 mile round trip for the first run. Go set some beeper traps for a friend of mine. And then we'll come back, see how much wood we use. I got uh, I think six bags on the back and a full hopper. Vacuum ratio's running a little bit loose, two to one, but we'll see how she goes. It definitely likes the RPM much more on wood gas than it does on uh, gasoline. And what I mean by that, it wants to run at a higher RPM, um, which is understandable. Uh, dynamic compression and all that. But one thing I was really looking forward to is finally getting this truck on, one, on running on wood. I didn't know if this was gonna work or not, and I don't know if anybody else has done it, but uh, see a little green light bulb right there? Oh yeah. We got wood gas cruise control. Awesome! Now well, we're at 173 miles so far. The hopper has not decided to get hot, so she did take, um, I'm not sure how much wood was in the bottom, but I put uh, almost two full bags in before we took off to, to top off the hopper. I'm assuming it's gonna take two and a half, three bags to fill that thing. That's been, you know, close to 30 miles so far of uh, 50 miles an hour on the main road and 35, 40, 45, 50 on the back roads. See how far this hopper gets us. Uh, it is definitely an absolute gutless turd on the hills. It goes from being rowdy V10 on the flats, no problem, to being like a choked out V6 climbing a hill and I kind of expected that was going to happen if you guys seen my other video um, I was driving the truck and watching the timing tables on my scanner and every time I got into the throttle it would drop back to about uh, 10 degrees of advance so I know that every time we get onto a hill and I got to give it more throttle it's dropping timing big time uh, but just cruising it'll hold 30, 35 degrees of timing. So flat ground, she goes just fine. It, it's not V10 power, no, but she goes. And this truck isn't about, you know, being wild and crazy. This is a work truck. And even if I got to get down low in the RPM and grunt to go up a hill, that's fine. We got the gearing to do that. Keep on rolling. 179.3 miles. Hopper started climbing about half a mile ago. So we're gonna do a hot refuel real quick and keep going on our way. Quick little hot refuel. First one in the new V10. It did die on me. Uh, I do not have a high idle system in this truck yet. Uh, something I definitely need to get in here. But we filled her back up. Made it just over 30 miles on a hopper. Um, not bad considering the truck just fired up on wood for the first time. It's gonna eat through wood like crazy until that char bed is settled in. We're still looking pretty good on vacuum. About two and a half to one. Uh, hopper stays between 90 and 110. Crossover anywhere from 630 to 800. It seems to be running rich right now, but I actually have the, the air valves completely closed off. But it seems to be running pretty good. It's about the same distance I make it in the Toyota on a hopper. That is a lot smaller hopper, it holds a lot less wood. But we'll see when the char bag gets settled in this thing, what kind of mileage we can really get out of her. And it is abundantly clear to me, um, I did not bring enough wood for this drive now. I didn't, I, I was really hoping we were gonna make it all the way to the farm uh, before I needed to refuel. That's all right. So we gotta run home, you know, the last 10, 15 miles on gasoline. Well, that's only 10 or 15 miles worth of gasoline I had to use. The rest of it is all on wood. So, still took this trip, you know, three quarters of the price off of the, how much it would, you know, cost me on fuel, on, on gasoline. But 
if I'm gonna be daily driving this thing and it does consume wood like that, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna have to get real serious on the wood supply. But I am also running on softwood right now. Uh, I do have a couple bags of my dry maple on board. And those will be the last ones I put in. But that's all right, keep on rolling bit of a long test drive but I've, I've also kind of got this bad habit every time I start a project my test drive always ends up being ridiculously stupid everybody else is just oh you know it's a test drive we'll, we'll take it around the block nah I, I want to see the failure when's it gonna happen oh don't jump in the road doggy Cute dog. Uh, like one of my four-wheeler projects was a Suzuki Samurai my test drive was 230 miles. <laughs> so yeah, this, this is kind of normal for me. We're exactly 40 miles from home on technically the second test drive. Uh, the first one was just the gas station and back. Now we're putting her really to the test. I'm gonna go set some beaver traps and uh, we'll get back on the road. Dad, you can always tell it's when it's the first day of trapping season. I grab my waders that have holes. I grab my gloves that have holes. Now, we're gonna get this guy refueled up before we head back for home. Grab the blower going. Definitely didn't bring my great shaker, so dirty old beaver stick's gonna do. Make sure we don't have any bridging. Well, we definitely do. She caved in. Tamp that wood down. We'll get it topped off. Ready to ride. I'm gonna keep that beaver stick just in case. You know, maybe we get a bridge on the way home, but we gotta knock in. Beavers ain't bad for everything, I guess. Man, I'm really digging on these gauges. Nice and well lit. A little bit brighter than the gauge cluster. The vacuum gauges, though, they need some attention. Need some, need some lights on them things. So they're running pretty good. Another 35 miles to go, and then we'll be home. Just pulled over my favorite gas station here and uh, topped off the last half a bag of fuel I had. Oh, of course it died. Left the clutch out a little bit too quick. Back on the road here. It's a little bit rough from the first to second gear shift. I'm not it's sure why. Right gets real low on power for a second and that's mostly I'm sure because the timing is up now I feel the power coming back I think I'm shifting too high in the rpm of first gear and it kind of lags the gas for a second and that was also coming up a hill so that was made to look way worse than it normally is I can't really say normal because this is, you know, first time driving the truck on wood. We're about 60 miles in, about 20 to go. Now we're starting to hit the flat, she picks up speed like it's nothing. Here's fourth gear at 45. Seems to want to run about 1800 to 2500. That seems to be its happy place. A lot of wood. Here we go. Fifth gear, 55. And we'll cruise on the rest of the way home. Alright, hit the button, bud. Man, cruise control is awesome for wood gas. Locked on at 55. Cruising along. Everything's running pretty good. 
I don't know what regular temperature should be for this, this truck yet. I have seen the crossover once, got to 1,064 degrees. Um, being that there's no insulation in there, I know it's dispersing that heat pretty quickly. But seems to be doing pretty good. Definitely likes the flat ground a lot better than the hills, which is fine. There, there's still plans in the works in the plan, plans in the works, whatever you want to say, for a little bit more power later down the road. I'm also running a small restriction, um, brand new char bed. You know, this is this is just the test drive, and so far it's doing pretty darn good. Eating the, eating the wood up like there's a hole in the bag, but you know, that's all right. If by the time we get home, we'll be about maybe 90 miles round trip. I'm happy with this performance so far. But uh, hey, Rob, you, you got some timing table stuff working on, you know? OBD2 V10 Dodge 96. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Yeah, I know. I still got to get a laptop and get HP tuners. If I don't have to buy a fifty dollars worth of gas every day, that could happen a lot sooner. I'll be damned. We're gonna make it home on the wood that we got. Just pulled onto the gravel. Um, only had one weird thing happen, and it was literally like a half a mile right down the road over there. I was cruising along, dude, about 35 in fourth gear, and all of a sudden my crossover temp just started climbing like crazy. Uh, I had seen it tickle 1100 degrees here and there when I was hard pulling a hill, but she climbed all the way up into 1300. That was kind of strange. And that was right when I downshifted and pulled on gravel and dropped right back down to eight, 900. Kind of weird. I'm not running out of wood, the hopper's still cold. Well, not cold, but I'm not running now. And we're at 232 miles. We ran about 90 miles round trip. I'd say that's a pretty good uh, first test drive. And we've made it home. Yep, 232.7 right down on the low idle not because I have a choice but because I don't have a high idle circuit in this truck yet man just barely creeping along in those rpms I think I can hear each cylinder it's like one 200 rpm maybe let's do a little light show Call that a very successful uh, first test drive. Nice and warm too. You can see I got a little bit of soot coming out of the rails. You can see the little tiny sparks kicking up. They'll start building up the insulation. Uh, yeah. We're gonna head out tomorrow. I'm gonna repeat that exact drive. Go check my beaver traps. Um, so that was about six bags of wood. The last two bags I put in was a uh, hardwood maple. One of them was mixed with some Doug fir. But uh, yeah, I want to thank everybody for following along and watching this build. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, Wayne, thank you again very much for the design. Everybody on the Drive on Wood forum, uh, you guys have all been an inspiration. I mean, I've, I've built two trucks now in well, actually, I fired the Toyota up last October. It's November. I joined last January. I mean, it's it's already been a pretty wild ride, and uh, wood gas is a lot of fun. And thanks to all my subscribers on YouTube for following along. Uh, a lot of encouragement from a lot of guys, and happy to bring this to you guys on video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.